We are now approaching the misty, snow-capped peaks the monk desires to call home. A sequestered haven of austerity and mental rigor, where entire lives are spent in the pursuit of becoming one with the world. Of course, our telekinetically inclined friend is not quite so ambitious. He'll be happy enough simply being the one in charge, no matter what it takes. Welcome, young apprentice. You have come far, yet your mind is not at peace. To achieve enlightenment, you must pass the four trials of Zenness. Take this and begin your journey. Do not let your opinion of yourself grow too great. Remember this always, a single feather outweighs all mankind. Isaac Newton was down here once. I'm pretty sure he would call that scientifically inaccurate. That was quite a climb just to grab a feather and turn right back around. I think it's a Zen thing. You know, the journey to enlightenment is more arduous than any mountain path. That sort of crap. Mountain paths are still pretty arduous though. Our enlightenment-seeking trio has completed the first trial of Zenness, which I'm fairly confident is not actually a word. I'm a bit behind the technological curve down here. You know, no spell check. The monk has completed the second trial of Zenness. He seems to be tackling these challenges in good faith and the proper spirit of calm. Of course, still waters run deep and very, very dark. Hmm. 
known that the cave does not approve of using external sources to circumvent official tests of skill and intellect. So I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. In any case, that's trial number three complete, technically. seem so real, so crucial, can't they? But in the end, just like everything else, their glimmer fades. Surely the most worthwhile goal is acceptance of one's place in the universe. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I think these Zen guys are rubbing off on me. Well, that's all four trials. Enjoy the fruits of enlightenment.
Remember this, apprentice. Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts. All worldly pursuits have but one inevitable end. Destruction. I see you understand what it is to be at peace with yourself. But be warned, a true Zen master is also at peace with the world. This is going to hurt. Yeah, I don't think that's the orthodox method for obtaining this particular position in the temple. But what do I know? I never passed comparative religion. Do you suppose the monk's companions knew what he was up to? Do you suppose he himself knew? Or was he acting out the only path he had? I have my own thoughts on the matter. And I've had more than a few millennia to weigh it over. But I'll let you reach your own conclusions. Our friend the monk's tale is nearly at an end. <laughs>